Hello, I wanted to talk about venture capital, what it is, um, and sort of the different conceptions that people have about it and why it is really important to, to understand what it is um, and how, why it can be hard <laughs> and confusing to know uh, what it really is. So, um, so venture capital is a type of investment model and it was designed back in the 50s um, and it really has evolved into something that is quite huge. There's lots and lots of money invested in it and there's a very distinct model of how venture capital money is invested. And the way it works is that um, under the model, they are looking to create a portfolio of investments. So they'll invest in, you know, a certain number of investments, at least 10, maybe more. Um, and they're, and they're kind of making big bets, um, investing in businesses that are already, you know, have some really good traction. They tend to be usually, um, high tech, um, like software companies, they could also be um, consumer packaged goods, but companies that really have the potential to grow very, very big. And what they do is they invest in preferred equity in these companies and they don't get paid at all unless there's an exit. And what the exit is, is when um, the company gets really big and becomes an attractive target for an acquisition by a large company, or occasionally, less commonly, um, the company might get really big and do um, an initial public offering, go public, and that is also considered an exit because it's an opportunity for those er the, the venture capitalists to get paid. And um, when you're raising money that way, you're usually going to be raising very frequently, like maybe every, you know, year to two years, you're going to be raising another round of funding because the goal is growth. And, you know, the bigger you can get, the faster you can get bigger, the better, because that's going to lead to the big exit. And very, very few companies meet these requirements of what the venture capital model is looking for. They're looking for companies that can get very big, very fast, and have a big exit ideally within five to seven years. And um, they understand that, you know, most of the businesses that they invest in probably will not be the big winners that will have, you know, they, a, a winner is, is basically a business that, you know, a good, <clears throat> a good outcome is considered, um, growing in value, uh, by at least 10 times in five to seven years. So they call that like a 10 X increase in valuation. Um, and most of the companies in their portfolio aren't going to achieve that. So really like maybe one out of 10, of the companies in the portfolio has to do really well to make up for the other companies in the portfolio that don't do so well. But, you know, they're trying to invest in ones that will get there. Um, and so m for most businesses, this just isn't a good fit because you're just not on that path. That's not your goal. You really don't have the potential to get that big. Also, you know, let's be honest, if you're not a white male who's super well connected, it's very hard to get that type of funding. Also, if you're not located on a coast. Um, and that's completely fine. I mean, my whole career of working with entrepreneurs to raise money has been all about helping people who are not a good fit for that model to raise money using different models, um, more customized models that make sense for their particular situation. But what can happen is sometimes there's people out there who may be investing on the venture capital model, but they're not totally transparent about that. And so sometimes you can waste time trying to, you know, court those investors when without realizing that they're just not a good fit. And hopefully, you know, fairly quickly, it'll become clear, but, you know, people might spend money going, trying to you know, fly out somewhere to pitch or go to some pitch competition, 
Keep in mind that a lot of the angel groups that are out there are part of the venture capital ecosystem. So even though they're not investing in the same way as venture capitalists, they're, they most of them consider themselves um, an initial stepping stone towards going down that path. And they're only interested in investing in businesses that are, you know, that are a fit for that model. So um, if you know that that's not a good fit for you, don't assume you can't raise money. You absolutely can. But also don't waste time on that type of funding because it's so not a fit that, um, it, it, you know, you'll, it really will be a waste of your time <laughs> and can be very demoralizing. If you get turned down, you might think, oh, I'm not good enough. But really, it's just that you weren't a good fit because most businesses aren't, I'd say, you know, 99.9% .9 of businesses are not a good fit for that model. They just can't grow that fast, don't want to, you know, give up control as you are required to do with that model, you know, shoot for the big exit within five to seven years. It's just, it's a very unusual pathway. Um, so, and then, you know, if you are a mission driven business, sometimes you might, say, oh, I'm looking for impact investors, which makes sense. You're looking for investors that care about businesses that have a positive, that care about investing in businesses that have a positive impact. Unfortunately, a lot of um, investors that label themselves impact investors do invest using the venture capital model, and they're not always totally transparent about that. So try to find out as quickly as you can how, um, your potential investor, what types of investments your potential investors are looking to make. And what I've found over the years is when you go to um, the non-usual suspect investors, they are often not really interested in investing on the venture capital model, but um, you know, there are some more institutional type investors, investment funds, you know, high net worth folks, family offices, et cetera that do invest in using different models, but try to find out quickly to avoid wasting time. And I do wish it was required that all investors would be more um, upfront about what model they're investing on, what they're looking for. Um, but keep in mind that, you know, if they are investing on the VC model, there's really no flexibility on that. That is, um, they have raised money from other people and they've already promised those people that they're gonna be investing in things that they're hoping will be the next big giant thing, you know, what they call unicorns. And so don't think that you can talk them into investing in your business if that's not what is likely your path. They have a model they have to stick to. It's very standardized. The standard legal documents for these investments are easy to find online. And that model is only a fit if you are on that high growth path with a plan for an exit. All right. Thank you so much. Hope this was helpful.